Hello everyone, it is Erin Fletto and I am one of the Archer and Olive Ambassadors and I'm here to go over some 10 healthy recipes today. I did want to add the caveat that healthy looks different for different people and these may not work for you, um, but you can always consult a doctor or your nutritionist if you want to explore healthy options for you. Um, I am using some Archer and Olive washi tape, a calliograph, and I'm also using some Micron pens as well. The first recipe I have is a breakfast recipe. It is a California Eggs Benedict. Um, I call it Eggs Benny. And this whole idea for this breakfast option is to substitute things. So instead of an egg muffin, um, which has carbs, you might want to um, substitute an, a tomato slice. And then you can do sugar-free bacon, adding some avocado, um, poached eggs are a really wonderful choice. And you can also add dairy-free hollandaise sauce if you are trying to avoid dairy. So one of, the one, one of the things that I really wanted to make sure I highlighted in these recipes is the ability to substitute. Any recipe can be made healthy as long as you do the correct substitutions for you. So this is the California Eggs Benedict. And next we are moving on to another breakfast item, which is the strawberry oat breakfast bars. So I have a list of ingredients over here. And again, making some substitutions, for example, using oat flour instead of regular flour, you could also use almond flour, you could also use coconut flour. There's a lot of different options that you can do. And instead of regular sugar, you can add um, different types of sugar alternatives, um, such as Swerve, which is uh, keto compliant if you are interested in doing something keto. Uh, also doing a uh, stevia sweetener instead of um, other types of uh, sugar sweeteners. And then I have the simple steps over here, which is stirring all of these options together, adding oil to make a dough-like consistency, to make the bottom of the bar, adding in the strawberry mixture, which is berry, starch, and a sweetener, placing that on top of the dough, and then having uh, the rest of the dough flaked on top to make the bars and baking it for 35 minutes, letting it cool, and then enjoying them all week long. So that is a second breakfast option that you could do. Moving forward, we have some vegan egg muffins. I do want to make sure that there are some different options for different uh, types of dietary restrictions. Um, so we have a vegan option. So this is a great one to prep and to freeze as egg bites that you can have all week long. So you can have, you can see my ingredients in here, um, some tofu, chickpea flour, nutritional yeast, onion powder, pepper, uh, broccoli and corn. And then these are all of the other ingredients as well. Miso paste, turmeric, garlic cloves, red bell pepper, etc. So spraying your muffin tin um, because we want to be able to get <laughs> the vegan egg muffins out. Combining all of them. So we're going to first cook some of the options. So that's the vegetables that we're cooking. Garlic and hot oil broccoli, red pepper, and corn, and then your scallions all cooked together. And the food processor making um, a creamy consistency and pureeing the tofu, yeast, chickpea flour, um, tahini, miso paste, turmeric, onion powder, salt, and pepper. And then mixing together those cooked vegetables in the puree, and then combining it into the muffin tins, cooking and baking it for 25 to 30 minutes, and then letting it to cool, and again, um, a wonderful option is to freeze these as egg bites that you can have all week. The next one is a lunch option. Obviously this could also be done for dinner as well, but this one is a Mediterranean chickpea salad. And I wanted to highlight something that you could um, adjust and make for yourselves. So using fresh raw vegetables, so something like tomatoes, onions, and cucumbers, again, that can be um, substitute it out if that is not something that you enjoy. If you don't like tomatoes, substitute it out. If you would rather use red onion than regular onion, substitute it out. Um, doing roasted vegetables like bell peppers, eggplant, zucchini, and carrots are awesome options. 
adding cheeses like minori, feta, goat cheese, and gravier. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> adding in chickpeas, olives, and parsley, and then doing different types of dressings like lemon juice, olive oil, feta dressing, or Greek dressing. So there's a lot of different options that you can do so that it's not just one stagnant list of ingredients and how to make it. You can always adjust it for what you have on hand um, in your kitchen. The next one is another lunch option. Um, this could also, again, be done for dinner as well, but coconut curry shrimp soup. So this is, only takes about 20 minutes. Um, so it's a five minutes prep, 10 minutes cook, 15 minutes total. I always add five minutes because it takes longer for me to do things. Two cups of coconut milk, half a zucchini, six ounces of shrimp, five lime leaves or lemongrass, um, uh, one and a half teaspoons of bread curry paste, and then cilantro. And you can also add more ingredients such as cauliflower or broccoli. If you are not trying to do keto or Whole30, you can maybe do um, rice as well. So here are some instructions on how to cook. And this is the nutritional information that you could always include on your recipes as well. If you are interested in um, refining to make sure that you are keto compliant, Whole30 compliant, paleo compliant, whatever, you can always include your nutritional information based on what dietary restrictions you are imposing on yourself at that moment in time. The next option is marry me chicken. Um, this is a great, great dinner. Um, so this includes a uh, boneless chicken breast and then putting together some heavy cream, chicken broth, garlic, sun-dried tomatoes, oregano, red pepper flakes, Parmesan cheese, and basil. So you're making all of these, you're searing all the chicken, um, setting aside the chicken and then creating this wonderful cream sauce. So you're adding in um, different options a step at a time on medium low heat to make the cream sauce and then putting the chicken back in and then putting it in the oven to bake for 12 to 15 minutes because you've seared the outside. Now you just got to bake the inside, taking it out and coating it in sauce and then serving after five minutes once it's cooled down a little bit. This can also be paired with some more vegetables on the side um, if you want uh, something like broccoli or um, cauliflower or something like that. So that is Mary Me Chicken. I will have the recipes to all of these down below because I did um, scour the internet for some options. The next one is curry chickpea lettuce wraps. So we have a chickpea filling and then we have the, um, the salad that you uh, blend together. So putting together the chickpeas, water, turmeric, chili powder, and cooking it on medium high heat. Chickpeas, you obviously have to cook before you, um, before you eat them. Stirring in the olive oil, onion, garlic, cumin, flax seeds, sesame seeds, and then cooking for another minute and then setting aside that whole chickpea filling and then blending in the salad option. So that's your avocado, lime juice, basil, garlic cloves, tomatoes, spring onions, green pepper, I'm adding in some walnuts and then the lettuce leaves for your lettuce wraps, adding in the chickpea filling about two tablespoons, adding in the salad blend, two tablespoons, and then putting it together for a lettuce wrap. And this particular recipe is vegan compliant, gluten-free, and uh, it boosts anti-inflammatory. The next option is buffalo chicken stuffed peppers. I love buffalo chicken. I love stuffed peppers. So this was a wonderful one to see. So I like had having different types of recipes that you can do. And this one is very much a doodly one. So you might have the recipe set aside that has all of the specifics on how much you need to add, um, but then doing some little doodles on all of the steps. So the first is to um, to seed your bell peppers and cut them in half while also preheating the oven, combining the cooked chicken, mayo, hot sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, nutritional yeast, and green onions, mixing all those together so that you way you have a filling, your buffalo chicken filling for your peppers, 
filling in those peppers on a sheet, covering that sheet with foil, baking it for 30 minutes, taking it out of the oven, removing the foil, and then baking for an additional 20 minutes drizzling ranch and green onion on top once it is complete and then serving and enjoying. So again, lots of fun ways to make all of these uh, types of recipe pages in your own bullet journal. The next one is spinach turkey meatballs. This is the last dinner option that I have. I have the ingredients listed out here on the left. And then again, I did somewhat doodly sections over on the right. So I have where you're combining your meatballs. So these are all the ingredients to combine to make your turkey meatballs. I included um, turkey and chicken. So did the recipe because tur ground turkey by itself can get very dry. So adding in the ground chicken is a great way to keep things from being dry. In the skillet, you're going to cook the meatballs first, take the meatballs out, and then cook all of the other uh, sauces in that same skillet so you can um, keep, that, um, keep that taste from the meatballs. Adding in the heavy cream, simmering that, and then wilting in the spinach and adding Parmesan cheese, combining it with the meatballs, and then enjoying. I always love to put serving and enjoying at the end of all of these recipes. And then the last one I have is the dessert one that I have. I have these no bake cookies. Um, the person that made this recipe also said it has more of a bark like consistency. So I also put bark in here. So these are the ingredients. Like I said, I like to do some doodly ones and then having very um, concise instructions. So we have half a cup of nut butter. So that's any sort of nut butter, almond, nut butter, peanut butter, things like that. Two thirds cup of oats, a half a cup of dark chocolate, three tablespoons of chopped nuts and one tablespoon of coconut oil. Mixing the nut butter, oats, chopped nuts, melting the dark chocolate with the coconut oil. <laughs> I mess up as you can see, so I just whited that out. Combining um, what you have in the bowl with the melt that you created and then creating that cookie slash bark consistency on parchment paper and then cooling in the fridge and of course enjoying it. So those are 10 recipes um, that I put in this video. There are obviously a ton more healthy recipes out there. Again, um, healthy looks different for different people. So definitely make sure you are finding something that works for you. And I hope that you really, really enjoyed this video. Um, I do have an entire blog post where I go through all of these as well, if you are more into reading versus a video. So thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye everyone.